Hey, what's up guys? Currently walking into the stand right now. Gonna do some evening bow hunting with the Bowtech. Right now I'm in South Carolina again. I've got a pretty nice ladder stand overlooking a cutover with about 60 yards mowed down and some corn in that row in the road and I'm walking in right now we've had some pretty nice deer there during daytime specifically the one I'm going for is a drop tine nine pointer so he's a basic eight pointer with a drop tine and then there was also a pretty nice eight pointer there the night before that I'm going to have to uh, decide whether or not I want to shoot but um hopefully we'll see him there's a high pressure system coming in it's going to be about 30.12 30.12 and low 70s so pretty excited walking there right now let me go ahead and quiet down see y'all in the stand all right guys so i made it to the stand it's pretty windy out here the wind is currently going from left to right which is in my favor the road that i'm looking at is straight in front of me i'll go ahead and show that to y'all
So at this point, it's getting pretty dark. I haven't been seeing any really nice bugs. I've seen a few tiny ones and a few basket rack aids and that kind of stuff. But it's getting hard to see, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, shut out for the night and climb down and help track my dad's deer. Alright guys, well, that was the end of my hunt. I saw about four or five bucks. And then I also had spooked two does on the way in. But yeah, four or five bucks came in from behind me. I got a little bit of footage. It probably wasn't the best. It was pretty dark. None of them were that drop ton nine pointer. So I opted out of shoot them, shooting them. However, my dad and family friend were able to shoot some deer tonight. So I'm going to go help my dad track his buck. And then... Our friend shot a doe. So I'll walk out there. Maybe I'll get some footage of that. And uh, yeah, overall it was a pretty fun night. I uh, need to work on being slower, definitely. And um, that was about it. It's pretty fun. All right, well, I'll get back to y'all later. So we were able to find my neighbor's doe pretty well, but unfortunately we tracked my dad's buck for about two hours and never found anything. We found tons of blood, tracked him for about 200-300 yards, and then the blood just stopped. He came out there the next morning and never found anything else, so that was the end of that. You don't always get a good shot.